It's gonna be very informational, you know what I'm saying? We're gonna, Sorry. you know, it's summertime. You gotta switch your hygiene up, you know what I'm saying? Sorry. You can't go outside musty because it's cold, you know what I'm saying? You don't think nobody will smell you. They gonna smell you. They, they, smell they are going to smell you. They are going to smell you. So we finna give you, he said onions. <laughs> so we finna give you a few tips, you know what I'm saying? The things we do, things that we, uh, that are common <clears throat> knowledge that some folks might not do, but it's some things you should do incorporating your daily hygiene, you know, your Definitely. daily upkeep. This is a big debate, you know what I'm saying? A lot of people use one washcloth. A lot of people use two. Some people don't use any. Some people just use the soap. What do you do? Use a washcloth. Exactly. You don't use a washcloth if you're dirty. You gotta use a washcloth. Get everywhere. Your I feet. Agree. I agree. Your armpits. I your agree. booty. I agree. The, what? the area. Your private area. Everywhere. This, this is... This. You know how they got those scrubs now? Not the loofers. The loofers are kind of, they're kinda they kind of dirty for I actually have one of those. They, they, yeah, I'm, I'm It's like a silicone you're talking about? Like silicone. It's, it's type like thing? a it's a it's a net and you just put the bar of soap in. Oh, it. I think I said so I got like a silicone. It's like listen, have you ever seen like a face scrubber? Mm -hmm. I have like a basically a body version of that. Got you. Mm -hmm. I use a scrub on my body and then I use the washcloth for, you know, for sensitive mm -hmm. areas, you know, the private parts. You know what I'm saying? So you can really get in there. So, but definitely use one. You know definitely. what I'm saying? Face, wash your face first, and then you do the rest last. Don't, don't go butt in face. That's dirty. Right. Brush your teeth. You know, I, I, this should be common knowledge. You know what I'm saying? Twice definitely. a day. When you wake up, before you go to sleep, think about when you sleep. Your mouth is closed. You know what I'm saying it's closed for however many hours. And then you wake up too, like, damn, well, my breath smells so bad these days. So you pressure that now. You probably had a good meal. Food all still in there. You have maybe a lot of sugar and stuff that night. You wake up your breath on 10. Yes. That's why. Funky. Yes. Ugh. Another thing, too. Don't be off when you brush your teeth. You have an hourglass. Hourglass. That, you do that. Uh, you keep, like you brush your yep, teeth. I got it from the dentist one time. And it just keeps track how long I brush my teeth. So take your time. Make sure you get all the way really back supposed to, You're not even supposed to go like back and forth. You're supposed to go like a circular oh, yeah, motion. That, like, yep. type of, like I put a little coconut oil on my Same. toothbrush Same. with Same. toothpaste. You know what I'm saying? And... Do what I gotta do. I'm gonna keep it a buck. I make my own toothpaste. You know what I'm saying? I use coconut oil, mint oil. Um, Is that why you brush your face? <laughs> <laughs> peroxide and baking soda. And I mix that up and it's the same texture as toothpaste. And that's what I use. And I even went to the dentist. Like, that's, I used it for like two months straight. And I went to the dentist and they said my teeth were perfectly fine. You know what I'm saying? Do your research though. Coconut oil is great for your teeth. Also, floss. I ain't saying you gotta floss every day, but at least three to four days a week, if I'm being honest. You'd be surprised how much stuff really gets stuck in yep. between your teeth, because you think you're really getting it all when you brush, but really you're not for real. Definitely, Obama, I just did button. Definitely floss, that's, that's two things I do, that floss and that coconut oil, cool. Another thing, after you shower, baby powder or some type of powder and deodorant. Like I said, it's the summertime. I don't know, you know what I'm saying? You might be a slave. I, I'm different, yeah, I'm different other people, you know what I'm saying? But at nighttime, when I got a shower and stuff, I really don't put on deodorant and stuff like that. Because I don't, like, I don't like to sleep with a shirt on, so then I don't like deodorant, you know what I'm saying? Everywhere and everything like that. That's just me, though, you know I what I'm saying? I personally don't sleep with, with deodorant on just because I'm sleeping, I'm not doing nothing, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? I don't really get hot when no, I sleep. No, I had them days when I had woke up a little musty, like, ooh, that. Right. It might be a little hot that night, but go a little musty, but. Other than that, no, I'd be cool for real. I don't even, I'm for real, I don't even do it then because we know deodorant is toxic for your body, mm -hmm. right? I'm not about to sleep with it on when I just had it on all day. You right. know what I'm saying? Right. For the baby powder, that's that's more for the sensitive areas. You know what I'm saying? Um, obviously, don't get some that are causing cancer. There's a lot of them out here that are that mm -hmm. do cause cancer. So be mindful of the areas that you yeah. have and know where to put it, how to use yeah. it. Make sure it's cool with your doctor and all that stuff. Your nuts stick to your thighs all the time. So baby powder or deodorant or something you know and it keeps the, mm -hmm. the, the mustiness down if you don't clean yourself oh, right yeah. that's why we said take a shower oh god you soak in a rag please moisturize it's very uh, important that you do that because mm -hmm. your skin is the biggest organ on your Definitely. body i don't know if a lot of people know that so if you constantly have dry skin and grass oh, is yeah. just popping up it might be because your skin dry mm -hmm. you know find find some good lotion mm -hmm. me i like to use coconut oil for real i don't like using lotion i use that on my body find you gotta find something that fits you i use a face lotion for my face a little face moisturizer and i just have like regular body lotion you know what i'm saying make sure to you lotion up your private area you know what i'm saying because it does get ashy you don't think you get ashy but he get ashy you know what i'm saying you're right, I think, okay, all right, he cool, he don't get ashy. He get ashy. Hurt a little bit. Like, 
you get asked, boy. Get into a real intense, I don't say intense topic, but something that's debatable. Getting your feet and nails done. I'm not saying you gotta put clear coat polish. I'm not saying mm -hmm. you gotta get nail polish in general. But get the mug shaped and get the gunk scraped out. But right now, look, you feel me? Like this is this is nasty. I'm looking at my nails right now. These is nasty. I've been out there working. We've been out there working all day. You know what I'm saying? We've been hooping and stuff like that. But like, look at that. That gunk in there. Ew. Get your stuff done. And it's not just like, oh, only females get their nails done. I don't get that clear coat. That clear coat protects it for a minute. You get your nails done. Look, it don't look like this. You know what I'm and saying? Then, it's nice. And then, like, if you're like me and you get your little toenails constantly. You can go there and they can shape your nail to where it won't grow into the skin like it normally like it mm -hmm. normally would. You know what I'm saying? So it is very beneficial to that's, do that. Come around with the toes looking like what's it called? Leprechaun from the hood, my kid. <laughs> Leprechaun from the hood. Some of y'all got them toes and that's bad. Cause gonna have to add a picture of his his feet in there. You ever seen Leprechaun in the hood? Popular right now. Yeah, I see. His toes. Disgusting. Don't have your toes like that. Please get them done. And then. If you if even be more real, women love that because it shows your attention to detail. You so you take care of yourself. Exactly. I am a woman and I approve of this message. Next one is more for the African, African American fellows that watch our videos. Wash your hair, but not often. You know what I'm saying? We don't we don't need to do we don't need to wash your hair. Would you would you say like once every two weeks? Something like if, that, yeah. If you just a if, regular like, person that got a job yeah. and you just you just work. Once, once every two weeks. Now, if you're an athlete, would you say once a week? Yeah, something like that. You know, that, a lot yeah. of sweat and you and make sure y'all not out there using twenty and ones. All right, please mm -hmm. don't do that. You don't don't need, use axe. You don't need a like, mm -mm. don't use axe mm -mm. shampoo for your hair, man. Don't there's do that. No way, your soap should be a six and one. There's, there's no way. It doesn't make sense. <laughs> so don't use axe or old spice, all that junk for your hair. Don't be get don't, regular shampoo for your hair. Don't be cheap to get certain. Certain things that target certain things on mm -hmm. the body, so I'm saying Take it'll be yourself and be cheap to get something that just for your face, something that's just for your hair. Mm -hmm. Then it's gonna enhance them certain parts, so now you're just gonna look better all around. Also, at night, I ain't saying you gotta invest in a bonnet, but at least invest in something that's satin. Mm -hmm. you, know, you don't even for real, for real, at night, you don't even have to get a bonnet. They have pillowcases, it's a black owned site called mm -hmm. uh, KIN, and they have satin lined pillows, they have things for a uh, car. Headrest, like they, they have sat line, everything. So mm -hmm. definitely get you some of them. That's keep your hair moist exactly. and everything like that. You, you know? ain't got a whole bunch of fuzzies and definitely invest in those. Take extra care of yourself. I'm gonna lay it down like this real quick. We'll go to Wendy's and get a four for four all day. You know what I'm saying? But mm -hmm. we won't focus on what we put in our body, but we'll go and spend a thousand dollars on some pants or some shoes. You see what I'm saying? Facts. You gotta put your body as a temple for real. Facts. So you have to invest in what you really put in you rather than what you put on you. Don't be cheap when it comes to stuff like that. Not at all. Because then at the end of the day, you feel better. You're going to look better. Look you good, look better. Feel good. Your confidence right. goes up. Mm -hmm. and you're just going to be an all-around better dude. Colognes. Get you at least one good bottle. You yep. ain't got to get. You ain't got to spend. You ain't got to have a whole you know what collection. I'm just buy that one good go-to. you like, shoot, let me just put this on make sure I smell good. First date, I'm going to wear this. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? First job interview, I'm mm -hmm. going to wear this. And stuff. there's so many colognes, too. That you could just find your type. You know what I'm saying? Your exactly. smell that you it's like. So you know what I'm saying? It's smells. literally a lot. When it comes to having you a good cologne, I mean, have one that's oily. So mm -hmm. you would go for a parfum, which is P A R F U M. That's that, Those are ones that are more oily. I like to use three or four sprays, depending on which bottle I'm using. Yeah. But for the most part, I do collarbone, collarbone, middle, like middle chest area. And then I do one back here. So let's say I walk past you. You might not smell this, but you don't smell this. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, oh, what do you I got? I do about the same thing here, you know what I'm saying? But I don't do the back. I'm going to have to invest in that back. But I just do it here, here, there, like that. It's, I've definitely got a few walking past people like, oh, mm -hmm. what's that? As a male, don't be afraid to take little extra steps to make sure you're enhancing yourself. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to just go to the gym mm -hmm. to be this all-around great guy. No, just invest in the little things. Definitely. Invest, definitely invest in the little things. Because you're the bigger investor. The subscribe button is with Detrimental right now. We've been yes, growing like on. crazy, but let's keep on going. Let's come keep on, on doing. Let's keep pursuing. You feel me? Yes, sir. Please Hit that me. subscribe button. Follow by that like button. Okay. And then the bell. You feel me? So you can be notified yes, every time we drop. We're dropping game on y'all. We're dropping bangers on y'all. Yes, sir. This is continuous. It's not stopping. 2022, 2023, and defending and beyond. You feel me? Buzz Lightyear. You know what I'm saying? Take it over this summer, man. No cap. See you in World Summer, man.
But I'm telling y'all, watch. It's gonna Tell be a cold watch. summer. It's gonna be a, no. It's gonna be a COM summer. You C -O -M feel me? Summer. The COM you. summer. Okay. I'm telling you, watch. COM summer. Then it's really gonna be COM world for real. This is gonna turn into COM world. Yeah. 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 Yeah.